I'm so grateful for the chance to help the National Food Service, a charity that has helped provide hundreds of families in Bristol with over 40,000 meals since February to September. Coming together as a large team of volunteers and making a difference in the community in a caring and serving way. About a year ago, I received an anonymous uh, monetary gift um, and the proviso that came with it was that I spend it on a holiday. Um, I'm still completely blown away that someone would think to do that for me. Um, and I did go on holiday and I did have a great time. And yeah, I'm still blown away by that provision. I wanted to give thanks today for um, God's bounty and his fruits. And um, these jars provide just a few of the many that were made by a member of our Art and Soul Life group to sell for proceeds to St Michael's from mint and apple jelly to raspberry and uh, loganberry. So thank you, Lord, and thank you that, um, and thank you for the person that made that. Last month, my neighbour gave me her old iPad, thinking that I might know somebody who would be blessed by having it. As I prayed, God put into my mind a lady called Joan. I've got to know Joan these last few months through lockdown, and um, she's a wonderful person. She's in her 90s, pretty housebound, uh, but with a sharp mind and a great spirit. And she's spoken to me more than once about how she feels she's missing out because she's not connected to the internet. So to be able to put this iPad in her hands, to bless her in this way, just brought such joy, and she was chuffed to bits.